Today is supposed to be a day of celebration for a Bloomington family. But because of what happened at a North Shore resort, this day will never be the same. Love you, Marcus! Love you! Love you, The family of Marcus Roberts remembered him tonight on what would have been his 37th birthday. The blackjack dealer from Minneapolis was working at the Bluefin Resort one night in December of 2015, dealing for the resort staff holiday party. A resort employee, 62-year-old Kirk Bigby, admitted to being drunk and shooting and killing Roberts as he went outside to smoke a cigarette. In a story you'll see only on WCCO, Marcus Roberts' family spoke to our Susan Elizabeth Littlefield about what happened. Now I've been given permission to tell the story so that now I can heal because I need to help the rest of the family heal too. And this broken-hearted mother has quite the story to tell. And I go, you mean my son is dead? And he goes... Your son received a fatal shot. It was the Cook County Sheriff's Office on the phone, and it didn't make sense. Elaine's oldest son, Marcus, was staying on the North Shore. He and his brother spent the day taking these now sacred photos and enjoying the view. The brothers had just wrapped up their one-night gig of dealing blackjack when resort worker Kirk Bigby shot Marcus in the parking lot. Elaine says Bigby was drunk and took aim. There was no prior confrontation between the men. He wasn't hostile. He was trying to make money to get his own place for him and his children. The biggest thing about him was his love of family. He was absolutely devoted to his kids. He adored them. Jessica Jensen is the mother of two of Marcus's five children. With murder, it's just... You don't get that. You don't get the closure. She says her children have nightmares. She's seen them in the car, hugging each other and quietly crying as they ride to school. Kids aren't supposed to have to feel that amount of grief. But there's been some peace, knowing the man who killed their beloved Marcus is serving time. There's also been comfort from a woman they never knew, a woman who was also killed. What particularly helped me was going to Justine Damon's memorial service with my sister and how healing and how positive and I could sense like Justine's presence there even though I hadn't met her. And was she telling you to let go? Let go. Th that it's old. He wouldn't want me to be this way. My God, look at him go, you guys. <laughs> and now together. Love you, son. They are <laughs> letting go. You guys, everybody, we can start healing. The man who shot Marcus has 80 more months to serve in prison. Marcus's family has a GoFundMe set up to help support his five children who will now grow up without a father. We've got a link if you want to help out on WCCO.com. What a nice tribute to him tonight. So nice. Thank you, Susan Elizabeth. Thank you.